Hello, everybody. Thank for attending my topics. I'm Thuyle, work for Ericsson brand in Italy. Uh, my topic today is a spot analysis with Python. Uh, how many people here like sport? Wow, a lot. How many people like football? Wow, a lot. So, so lucky for you. Because today I will talk something about the football analytics uh, and we use the IoT data. Uh, there are, we, we know that there are a lot of issues to analyze this about the football. For example, we analyze the match. Uh, or like analyze the match, the player, the fan. But in my topic today, I will give you the special case about real-time match tracking. So, how we do real-time match tracking? One of my, uh, my presentation includes the three parts. The first part is uh, I will show you how we gathering the data. And the second part, I will show you how to data analyze this with Python. And in the last part, I will uh, show you the demo data analysis with Tableau. And you can see clearly about the data. So how we can gathering the data. One of the ways that FIFA uses to track the position of player or some information like energy or heart rate, they put a lot of sensor, for example, in the body of player to know the heart rate or the energy under the suit, behind the sock and inside the ball to know the position of ball or of player. And then the sensor will send the data to data center. Data center collects the data, and then we use a lot of application to analyze this data. But in, the, uh, in our topic today, I will show you how we analyze it, this data with Python. So for example, we got the data of the first part of a uh, of game with how the people of the team so what we can do? The first time, I think you need to try open the data, import some library, and use a panda to open the file. And here we have uh, information, the first 50 row of data. We have uh, several columns and a lot of um, row, but we don't know exactly the size of data. So we can use a data frame set, and we know the size of data. Wow, it's very big data. Uh, there are total around less than 600,000 rows and four columns. The name of column is timestamp, device ID, export, and whiteboard. It looks very similar. And how many devices they use to check the position of player? We can use a, a data frame column device ID unit, and we know the, num the name of device they use to check the position of player. And we sum the total of device here, we have uh, 11 the, uh, device. So we, if we want to know how many records we, uh, uh, we receive from each device, we can use a uh, uh, device value count. And we have uh, all the devices give us the number of records, more than 55,000 records. For so now we want to know the details, the information inside the data. We can use the data frame.info to know the thing inside. And we know all the, the timestamp is tie is a float. Uh, the device ID tie is in. Export and Y port is a float. And total data is no noon. And we do similar for each device if you want to see clearly. And we have uh, the same data, the same type result, but you see the record we reach from each device is smaller than a total the record from each device. We have a total of the data. And here we try to do some special thing like the mean mark of um, position of each player. Each player, each player, they will put one device inside. So we know the minimum, maximum of each port and Y port of each device. And we, we can do similar with data frame dot describer, but here we give more information about the uh, 
data like you can know the count, the mean, the standard, the mean, uh, the mark, and the percentage of um, data. Do similar with total data. So some people ask me when the game be began. So we can use the, we know that the start game, this means the time, the first time we got from sensor. So we try to call mean of timestamp and max timestamp, we know start time and stop time. And this case, they give up the, in, the result by the milliseconds. So it's very hard to know a weekday. So we can use this function to convert to uh, the format year, month, day, hour, and we have a result. The game started in 23 March 2009 uh, at 6.30 p.m. and stopped the same day at 7.15 p.m. So now, how long of that game? We, use, we take the stop time, my start time, and we know this game is 45 minutes, and we see there is an extra time in that game. And now we try to processing the data. Before processing the data, we need to summarize what we have uh, in the original data. We have a timestamp, we have a divide ID, we have an export and whiteboard. And now what can we do with this data? This is the thing that I suggest for you can do with this data. We can calculate the read time, the distance, the total distance, the velocity, the drone, the turning boy. But in this workshop, uh, I will focus and help you step by step to calculate read time, distance, and total distance. So calculate the read time, this means you separate the data and put it in minute and time and second for this. And we can use this function to do it, take the time of the, the sensor record, my for start time and divide for 1,000 because here is a millisecond, and divide for 60 so we know the minute blood one because we can calculate the game from minute one. And then we have one more column, mass per minute, and total the record in minute one we so one, uh, minute 45 we so 45, and we do similar week second. And but we take the remain of the different time for start time week 60 and blood one because the game start the second second one and we have a one more column. Is there any way faster than this? Yes, we have. A, we can use a deep mode and we can do similar and we have a, the same data, two column, mat time and minute. So now how we can calculate the distance of player we know that the distance of two pi is equal to the, the square of horizontal distance and the vertical distance and the square root of this uh, addition. And we use, can try to do it with Python and apply this function for each divide. And we can run it for total divide. Why is this function too long? When we then we take around 30 minutes, it's too long because it's very big data. And how to improve uh, the performance of this function? I will talk another t in another topic. And here is the result. Uh, we have a, one more column about the distance of each player. And now to calculate the total distance. In order to calculate the total distance of each player, we accumulate the distance of players in the periods. Uh, second, uh, or the period data, and then we try to apply it, and we have a one more column total distance. And now, try to summarize uh, in, in the data we have. Uh, now we have uh, more than um, more four column: mass time per minute, mass time per second, uh, distance, total distance, and we know the minimum, maximum of distance and total distance of, each, of the data. But now we want to know the detail for each player. We can use a similar. We choose each device, and then we choose, we describe it, and we know the information of each player or each device. So now, before go to the visualization. Uh, we review the information of data that we have. 
we have a CSV file, 45 minutes of game, 11 players, they know 10 players in this game. And we have a timestamp, device ID, position, export, and whiteboard, and we just calculate three, four more columns, math time per minute, math time second, distance, and total distance. Try to save it in CSV file, and now we try to do it with Tableau. And you can see visualize with Tableau now. Okay, here is, wow, it's very hard for me to see. Okay, so here we have a, we open it in Tableau. Okay, the first time try to add the data, the position that you save the data. Here I add text file because it is a CSV file. For example, here is the data. Try to load it. No, here. I have it already, so I don't need to add anymore. So I remove. Now. Okay, after it. And when we have a data, we open one more. Okay, so now try to, if you want to plot the information of um, football, you try to find the information for the one picture about the, the um, bit. Oh, sorry, very bad to see now. It's Okay, sorry, because uh, today um, uh, I didn't see here clearly, so I will show you direct the result here. For example, here. It's very bad to see now. Okay, try to add background image. Okay, we, have, we need to import the background image, for example here. You need to prepare the picture. And to the column is export and whiteboard for the information and try to fix the position. For example, the size of the pit is uh, 0 to 290 and 0 to 100. But there are some meter for the goal line and the tooth line, so I have for it, and then you can see you two and you see here the zero zero of the axis equals the zero zero of the pitch, and here the one hundred zero equals the, the the last quarter here, and then now we try to do. For example, here you two total. Okay. Uh, detail. Here is a whole data that we have. So it's very hard to see which data for player, X player. So we try to take the color for divide ID so we know. X color is a X player. Now you see a little bit clearly about the information of X player, but still very hard. So we try to put a device ID for the filter to select X player and know which the which is the role of player. For example, here. I choose only player one. Okay, can you get who is that? For sure, it's a goalkeeper, right? 
Uh, let me solve in terms maybe further. Okay. Now I choose player number two. Who is that? He is a right defender, right? Number three. Okay. He is a left defender. Number four. He is a defender, maybe middle. Number five, he defender in the middle. Okay, six. So you can get who is that? Maybe he is a mid fighter. So who is that? He is a right mid fighter. Try to do quick. Another player, number nine, number eight. Okay, he is a mid fighter. Number nine. Okay, I get that he is a attacker or striker. Try to do with player number 10 and player number 11. We have a, uh, he is a striker and Player number 11, okay, he is a mid fighter, right, left mid fighter. Okay, and when we summarize all the information of player, we can get which the formation they use in that game. Okay. Here they use a formation four four five four four two for that game. And now we try to do some special information for all the player or eight player. We we can go back tableau and see. Okay. For example, now if I want to see what is the position of own player in minute one. Second three to second, second one to second three. What we can do with Tableau? Uh, we try to put math time per, mi per minute. To each the attribute, and then you have to change it to distance. Okay. Math time per second, math time per minute. Okay, now I have to change it to dimension. It is an attribute. Okay, try to solve it. So filter. So filter. So here, if I want to see what happened. Okay, here, for example, I want to see in minute one, second one to three, or second one to seven of all the player. I choose all the player here. And you see, they move a lot of position, right? So what they do in five minutes? I don't know how much here. It's very bad to see. Okay, in, here's a five, right? Oh, no, eight. I choose here five. Okay, here's a total. The movement of each player when they move in five minutes. And now here is a second in total in a minute here. Okay, here, five minutes. Okay, and total second.
Okay. And you see they move a lot of position. Here's a position. It's a, here's a total in minute. Oh, here's a second. Okay, here's a minute here. It's a one tap. Okay, in three minutes, what they do? In on the second. Per minute, okay. Here is a position of all the player in first three minutes. And now, uh, for example, now I need to know what they do in first one player do in uh, fit in the first fifteen minute. What I can do? Okay, we try to make. For example, I need to know player number four. What will he do in first 15 minutes? Okay, very bad to see. How do you do like this? Maybe better. Okay, it's very hard to know, and I need to know separate each 15 minutes. So I choose my time per minute for color. Okay, and now I have to divide color to three parts. Okay, so you see, in the first 15 minutes, the, they move in the position as a red color, and the second 15 minutes, they move up the position is a white color, and the last 15 minutes, they move the position as a, a, a blue color. And here, you see, total the data of a big player. But if I divide, that's only 15 minutes, Okay, how to do it? Very bad. Okay, for example, how many minutes? For example, here in 18 minutes, we divide three parts. So each part is uh, six, uh, six, six minutes. So in the first six minutes, they stay in the red position, and the, the, in the red position have a red uh, point, and the, se, se, uh, the minutes seven to 12, they stay in the position with the white color, and in the minute, 13 to 18, they stay in the position as a blue color. And we can choose for two players and then what they do. Okay, it's hard to see, right? I choose another player, maybe. 10, 10 easy than it. Okay, very hard to see. So I choose that's only three minutes. So eight minutes, we can, you can see eight color they move a uh, position. Okay, three minutes for two players. So now we try to do some information like math time for each player. We summarize how many minutes they join and we see total 45 minutes. But a 46 minutes, why 46 minutes here? Because uh, we have uh, some In the minute 46, we have a just only one, one record get from the sensor. It's normal when you work with uh, IoT data because uh, the data transfer transfer to the data center, and when the the game stop, 
you can still get it and you have to stop the the connection with uh, sensor so you see the game that's only 45 but here they saw 46 because in 46 uh, in minute 46 we got that's only one data one data from sensor this mean here is uh, around um, 50 milliseconds so now we need um, some information you can do is calculate the maximum distance. And we know the maximum distance of each player, for example, here in 15 minutes, or oh, how many here? Uh, 15 minutes. So who, who got the max distance here? Or oh, you can do again uh, the same with the whole game, the whole of the first game. So you can see the player number two got the maximum distance. How we can do with total distance? Here is the total distance of all the players of the game. And we know we can, can, we can know who is uh, run fast, than, run long, farther than other. Here is the player number one. He is a goalkeeper. I give you the information like that because you know that that's here is only test data. If you want to know the right data, maybe you have to pay for it. And we can, here we know the total distance of each player. And now we, we want to know how long they run in 15, how far they run in 15 minutes or uh, in X uh, period, we can use the the math time we divide three parts, for example, here from 1 to 45. So we, in the first 15 minutes, they run, so the total distance they run for it present in the red. And the second 15 minutes, they run the far as a yellow. And the blue one is the last 15 minutes one player run. So now, if you want to know which the position the player or the uh, player can got the distance farther. For example, here I am checking the, for the position who is a farther than zero three. I put it the red color. And you know the red color, this means that they got the distance farther than 0 0.3 meter. This means at the position here, the velocity is very high. And how to calculate the velocity, we can do in another workshop. That is the thing that I want to show you to do analysis with Python. Yeah, I summarize a few pictures about it, and you can understand. OK, so in this topic, we know the step by step to calculate the real time, the total distance, the distance, and about the velocity, the role, the turning point, the, en the energy, the pass of ball, the combination between player, uh, the dashboard for the f uh, football. See you on next workshop. Uh, thank you for the attention. Any question for me? Okay. Thanks for your presentation. Uh, just one question. Have you tried to do something with the data? For example, to derive some kind of uh, player indices, performance estimates, who will score, you know? Something interesting. Uh, okay, it's a um, very good question. But in this case, you see in the original data. What we have in the original data, we just have the information about the timestamps, the divide ID, the export and whiteboard, and we don't have enough information to know the score 
or the passport. So if you want to do this index, you have to get put more information of other device. For example, I an, has a, another device, uh, um, uh, information of another device. I have to compile with this data set and can make for you more information. And you can know which time they pass the bone, which time they keep the bone, and which time we, they have a score. Any other questions? Uh, just one small, small question. Okay. Is, is that data publicly available, or is there an intention to make it publicly, publicly available for the people to, to look at it? I mean, it's, it looks very interesting. To yeah, thank you for the question. Actually, this data were public in the internet, but they do, like me, run, we do random. Because if you want to know the exact need, the information, for example, of Barcelona or Ryan Madrid, maybe you have to pay because you know they have to buy a lot of device, a lot of sensor to put in the player and record it to know the performance of the player or to track the game, and they have to sell it. So if you want to do, maybe you have to pay. This game, I just only show you the way they do, but exact need the data, I don't have. And if I have a so sorry, I can't public. Yeah. Thank you for your presentation. And I would like to invite you for uh, Ignite Talks to uh, track number one, to room number one. Thank you. Thank you so much.